Hey guys, I want to show you an application I'm working on is the widget KK for the smart plug. Uh, it's a very simple application that I created for these uh, nice devices. And the objective of this is to replace the out of the box one, which is really slow and shares your data with the Chinese server, and you know, nobody likes that. So I create this one in order to replace the things that I find problematic with the original one you know the slowness when you try to change the state and sometimes times out and you know the data that I don't want it to be shared with them so I added uh, home screen widgets uh, I'm not sure with the official application but in Lollipop you don't get home screen widgets which is a pain you need to open it up make sure it connects to the servers and then open the plug and then click on it and change the state and sometimes that times out but about that time I already unplugged the thing and I'm really tired of waiting for the application so I want more flexibility that's why I jumped to the json.cgi script that is in the community which works great so I create an application for that script so right now it has three features it's gonna be the voice commands that integrated with Google Now that I will allow you to tell Google Now a set of words and it will change the state of the of the KK or the smart plug that you want to change. It's, it's quite cool. It's going to be like uh, any Google voice command. It's just going to be like out of the box if you use that one. The next one is going to be react to system alarm. So when you get the system alarm, like when you're going to wake up, and that is the trigger is going to be captured by the application and it's going to run the triggers you want so you know uh, during the alarm maybe you want to start uh, making coffee in the kitchen and turn on the lights to help you wake up this is the, the option that you need so I'm going to show you a little bit of all the features in this and I hope you like it okay for the voice commands you need to enable the Google Now integration otherwise this isn't going to work this is mainly for Google now to share the data with the widget for smart plug you're seeing here and if it's, this is off you need to make sure it's on oh once you have uh, this option on you go back to the application come here and I have here a set of commands already set up on top you got the IP of the JSON that or, or the smart plug that you want to change or interact with then off is going to be the state that is going to be sent to that uh, that one and the last one is going to be the command the voice command so if you said lights off it's going to turn off at uh, that one I got lights on I got it's too hot and too cold to interact with the fan and I got uh, turn off everything and turn on everything or to turn on both so in here you have here an example you just add the IP this is how you add extra commands oh oh so it's gonna be on and I'm gonna tell it turn on lights So I add the command, you look at the list at the very bottom, we should have uh, turn on lights. So I save the list. So now if I say, okay Google, lights off. There you go. So I can now talk to it and tell the command I just set up, okay Google. Okay, Google, turn on lights. There you go. So as you can see, you can interact with voice commands. So if you have your phone plugged in right next to your bed, uh, you can just say, okay, Google, turn on lights or whatever other commands you want to set up. And, you know, you can just talk to the phone directly without even waking it up. So I can say, okay, Google it's too hot as you can see it triggers the fan so that's quite nice and you can also add multiple uh, commands for one voice command so let's or multiple triggers for one voice command so let's try this okay Google okay Google turn off everything
there you go so you can i just trigger two commands and turn off everything i guess and turn on everything and everything will go back so that's for boys if you have any uh comments or any ideas how to make this better just let me know i'm probably trying to add uh time let's say uh turn off the lights in 20 minutes and stuff like that but that will be in a feature uh version now the next option is the home widgets as you can see them here when this is fan and lights uh it's something very simple you can just come over here uh go to widgets so the very last one example i need to update that and you put it there and you add a name to whatever label you want to look so you can say lights Ooh. and the IP for the lights damn okay so you add the widgets and there you go you have the lights so once you touch it Turn it on, turn it off, and you can do this with whatever IP and whatever label you want. And it's pretty simple. Uh, if you want icons on the home screen widget, just send me the image and I'll add it for the future version. But so far, I just had the labels. But any requests, just let me know. For the last feature, is uh, triggering system alarm. So you just kind of come here, put the IP, the trigger to. to well, the state to trigger or off or on add it to the list and here I have that is gonna turn on the lights and it's gonna turn off the fan so I'm gonna turn on the fan and set up uh, an alarm and show you out so here is you need to make sure you start the receiver otherwise uh, it's not gonna capture the alarm triggers so let's test this out okay I set up the alarm for one minute and I got a couple of triggers I got the lights on and the fan is off so the light should be off and the fan should be on well you, you cannot see it but maybe you can hear it so at 1102 the fan should stop and lights should come on once the alarm triggers let's give it some time there you go and just take this off and the lamp turn on and this is a stopping so as you can see it reacts on based on the alarm so you want to stop reacting just stop the receiver so you it won't send anything if you have a uh, the port for wanting enabled just use the one IP or public IP instead of the local ones and you can send the commands from outside your network uh, on any option so widgets uh, voice commands or or the alarm trigger so uh, if you have any features you want to add or changes just let me know thank you hope you like it